for tonight is Sean Policki. Sean is going to show you and introduce you to his fencing. It's just a fencing product. It's a facade fence. <laughs> I can't pronounce it really facade. well. That's, I'm really embarrassed to say it. How do you pronounce that? <sighs> Adrian's tired tonight. Your facade <laughs> fence. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Policki and his facade fence. So, what we came up with uh, my my uh, my little invention, right? Um, what our what the problem is? Chain link fence. It provides a it, it does a service, but it's ugly. Nobody likes to look at it. I don't like to look at it. Um, I don't necessarily have any, but um, I definitely don't like looking at anybody else's fence. <clears throat> so, what we came up with. Or what, what other people have come up with in the past is um, these privacy slats to prevent people from looking through. They don't disguise the fence necessarily, and you can still and you always see through it. Um, other people have come up with other ideas too in the past. Um, they come up with uh, privacy screens, which I, I think are ugly also. <laughs> <laughs> and then some some people even come up with the uh, like the uh, I don't know what do you call it Christmas tree version of uh, privacy slats and uh, equally ugly and none of them are privacy uh, you can see through all of them and so I don't really I didn't really care for any of them so what we did was we came up with you take a uh, a standard chain link fence. And uh, I decided to make vinyl panels that snap on to a chain link fence or attach to a chain link fence rather easily. And you can convert, retrofit uh, an existing chain link fence with our panels and you get a nice vinyl look. Vinyl panels cost typically uh, $45 per foot for a six foot high fence. It's pretty expensive. You got to tear down a fence and put it back up and all that kind of stuff. So what we came up with was just a, a, a vinyl panel that each one interlocks and attaches to the fence <coughs> to retrofit it and make it look nice. So what we, the, the, one of the benefits of our product is you can attach them vertically, uh, horizontally, or diagonally, so you get a you can do a herringbone pattern, whatever you want. Um, most vinyl fences that uh, exist right now are vertical, and that's it. There's a trend growing right now where people want to put uh, fences in a horizontal uh, orientation, and uh, so we can so you can accommodate all those things. They attach to a chain link fence, or they can even attach to a lot of people put those uh, those screens up that I've shown you. Um, on uh, the wrought iron fences and things like that. So um, our panels consist of, it's just uh, a single extruded vinyl panel. It's made out of the same material as a uh, uh, vinyl windows, vinyl fences. They're UV stabilized and all that kind of stuff. So they'll, they'll last outside for you know, 20, 30 years. You don't have any uh, issues with them, uh, uh, the sun degrading them or um, any issues. Um, in addition, we, so to attach them, we've uh, we, uh, <clears throat> perforated little slots in the side of the fence and um, use these urethane um, beaded chains to attach them to a fence. So they just attach in one one slot, wrap around and pull through. Um, and this is a back view of it. The panels themselves attach to each other and they, uh, one, as one panel gets attached, the other panel goes in at a 90 degree angle, rotates 90 degrees and locks together. You can't even pull it apart, if, even if you're a strong man. Um, here's the uh, orientation of them. And this is the engagement of the uh, the interlocking joint. 
we take one of the panels and we slice the end off of it and that starts it. And if you can see that right here, we have the, uh, the little beaded chain and uh, the edge of the panel and that's what starts the, the whole operation and then uh, moves along. We just start attaching panel after panel, moves along rather quickly and there's our final product. And we, so we accompany it up with uh, some trim pieces and things like that and, uh, and that's, our, uh, that's our fencing product. You could have a base piece as well like the header. Um, so the, the trim pieces will go along all edges and then even actually cover up uh, all the uh, base poles that exist on all uh, chain link fences. Go along the bottom, the sides, the top, they just staple in with uh, uh, stainless steel staples and that's the way they attach. So you can just add as many as you want and that's is how that it goes. Is that a prototype working prototype? Yeah, this is, this is our prototype and then the, uh, um, the other ones that I was showing you yeah, are, uh, are, are full production. What's uh, about what it costs? Retail. So retail right now, I mean, so I guess it depends on the height of the fence. Six There's, feet. yeah, um, most, most fences are six feet, some are four feet. Um, but for, let's say, a six foot section, a uh, vinyl fence typically goes for around $45 a foot per, uh, and yeah, and up, yeah, installed. Uh, we're selling it for uh, $10 a foot. Anybody else have a question? Do you have any of those here with you today? I do, I have a bunch of panels in the back, yeah. <laughs> it, it actually removes faster than you can put it up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Sean. Yeah. Thanks,